All right, so this is my post-workout meal. And so what I did here was I took, um, this is actually part of my sleep stack. So I took an ashwagandha uh, to lower my cortisol after my workout. I took um, this supplement, which has uh, a little bit of ashwagandha, L-theanine, and rhodiola. Uh, that's anti-stress. The L-theanine is going to basically stop the effects of caffeine. So I don't have uh, the half-life of caffeine later in the day. And that will help me sleep. Um, it also bring down my cortisol levels. So, And then I took some inositol as well. Um, so then with this meal, I'm going to have uh, vitamin D. I take that with fat. It's a fat-based supplement and turmeric. Uh, I'm going to take that with this meal. These I took prior to the meal. Then a little bit prior, I took a swig of apple cider vinegar. That's going to help assimilate and absorb the protein. And then with my meal, I take the omega-3 uh, fatty acids. That's going to be the fish oil, and that is going to help with inflammation, or anti-inflammation, and um, also it's going to help give me a positive balance of omega-3s to get me in a more anabolic state. Um, with the meal, I have uh, mustard for taste. It's also a mild fat burner. It has some turmeric in it as well. Uh, this one's really good. found it at Walmart. Uh, Bragg's Nutritional Yeast. Uh, that is good for um, uh, combating adrenal fatigue. Salt. Can't get enough of that when you're working out. So that's going to replenish my electrolytes. In the meal itself, I've got 10 ounces of potatoes, which is going to be real high in potassium. Also, it's going to have a little bit of magnesium and zinc, followed by four ounces of 100% grass-fed beef, um, which is organic. And that's also going to be high in zinc. And I like that because it's a time-release protein. It's going to give me about four hours of anabolic activity. I've got four ounces of broccoli, and then I got some uh, mushrooms. So the broccoli and the mushrooms are cruciferous vegetables, which are going to combat estrogen. And then below that, I have a bed of spinach, which of course is going to be good for you as well. So yeah, very well thought out meal. And this happens to be my post-workout meal. Okay, so here are the macros. As you can see, it's 561 calories, 43.5 grams of protein, 69.5 grams of carbs, 12.7 grams of fat. Now, this does not include the fat from the omega-3 fish oil. And as we go down here, by the way, this app is called Chronometer. Uh, as you can see, this one meal is absolutely loaded with vitamins and minerals. A lot of that, a lot of the uh, B vitamins are coming from the nutritional yeast. And as we go down a little bit further, here's the minerals. So this is what I like to concentrate on. As you can see, magnesium, 155 milligrams, uh, potassium, 2300 milligrams in this one meal. That is crucial, combining that with the sodium for the, uh, the pump in the cell, the mitochondria pump, which is going to help you build muscle. And then the zinc and the magnesium, those are very high in this meal, and that's going to help uh, boost up your testosterone level. So you have quite a few different things in this meal, um, a lot of different strategies combating the estrogen, the cortisol, and manipulating the insulin by spiking the blood sugar with the potatoes, and then you're forcing that potassium and sodium in uh, to start building the muscle. And of course, the uh, raise, uh, rise in insulin will bring in the beef, which has the amino acid, which is going to start um, building up the muscle tissue. And as you can see, this meal has three grams of leucine in it. So very, very high, um, really well thought out meal. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode from Mind Muscle Meditation. If you found value in the content, please like and subscribe. And comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.